so uh, that that was our little message um and so uh but now we actually you know so there's there's money you can give we really encourage you to donate to do that to donate there's um phone calls you can make to uh the current senators we really encourage you to do that as well but there's also actions you can take to uh influence the coming election to help um bring in voters for some of these key races and so to talk about that we're going to bring in rudy uh welcome rudy thank you for coming back to radio 1103 uh if you tuned in last week you might have seen him hosting and he'll be hosting and co-hosting again uh next weekend but thank you so much for joining us and i was wondering if you could share a bit about your job what you do and how uh how that uh, affects the upcoming election yeah, thank you so much, uh, Karen and Brendan, for inviting me back uh, today. This show is, is wonderful, and I always look forward to, to hearing from all of you. Uh, also was excited to see that uh, we had a future Georgia State uh, House representative uh, speaking, who's actually a close and personal friend of mine. We went, uh, while I was an undergrad, she was getting her PhD, so it's mm -hmm. cool to see that, you know, someone that I went to school with is now running for office and will most likely win. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I'll tell you the news last night was shocking. Um, it made me extremely sad. Um, you know, one of the things uh, that I was really proud of of where I went to school was that RBG had gone to the same college that I did, and we walked those same halls. Uh, and I always, you know, felt this sense of pride that I I was at least in a similar place that such a powerful woman packed into this small being, like physical being, was able to do so much in her lifetime um and we need to honor that life with action i mean that is really what we can do is not get scared is not freak out is holy crap this happened now i gotta do something and now the question is how i do something so in my job i'm the field coordinator for san mateo county in california for the coordinated campaign and a lot of the work that we do is organized for north carolina for colorado for iowa um for uh texas for maine for so getting our uh, because we're so blue in california we can actually share our volunteer work uh with these other states um like we're doing with radio 1103 right supporting all these states to flip the senate so uh there's going to be a shared link in the chat and that's a document that was actually a document just for me to keep track of stuff and and when i welcome volunteers like how we would share but in that document, it lists out almost every day, you'll see that there's multiple phone banks that you can sign up for across different states. Um, on Mondays, we call for Colorado. On Sundays, we're calling for Iowa. We're calling for uh, North Carolina. Um, we're calling for you know uh, all these different states um, that we really need uh, to get these seats flipped. We cannot afford uh, to have you know this current president if for some reason he happens to win, that he's able to nominate Supreme Court justices going forward. I, I, I'm, I, everyone out there is probably like really, really nervous what's happening. You know, Mitch McConnell is already saying like, I mean, RBG had just passed away and he was already talking about putting someone else in her seat. You know, when we talk about other issues, how they say it's too soon, thoughts and prayers is too soon for us to talk about it. But they're sure enough, we're quick to talk about, uh, you know, who's going to replace RBG in a matter of hours. And it's really sad, the hypocrisy is sad, it's disgusting, but we can do something about it, right? So go to that document that's being shared right now in the chat. Um, there are a bunch of links. If you speak Spanish, we're calling Colorado in Spanish on Sunday. Uh, so tomorrow e afternoon at 4.30 to 6.30 Pacific time, seven, um, that's, the, what is that? 7.30 to, to 9.30 uh, Eastern time, we're going to be calling uh, our, our, you know, Colorado um, and it's important that we make those calls uh, in Spanish and in English. Um, so please sign up, sign up. If you've never done it before, there's a training on Monday for brand new phone bankers. You want to know what it's like. You want to see, you want to hear from people who were first time phone bankers and their experience. Uh, you want to feel comfortable about it. Um, or you don't know how, how, what that looks like. Uh, we have a training that's just 30 minutes before phone bank that you can attend on Mondays. It's in that, it's in that document under the training section. Uh, and then on Monday, we're gonna be calling uh, Colorado or Iowa. Um, Mondays is the, the most needed uh, Senate calls that we do. So the DSCC lets us know ahead of time which states we should be calling to back them up. So there's tons of uh, activities for us to do tons of action. 
If you've never phone banked before, this is the perfect time to jump in. Uh, don't wait till it's later. Uh, learn how to do it now. We provide trainings right before every call. Every call has a training. Uh, we go with the script over with you and it's scripted. So you don't have to like, you know, make, make things up. Um, and we're calling Democrats. So that's the important thing. You don't have to worry about talking to Trump supporters. We're going to be talking to Democrats. So um, thank you. I, I'm sorry. I, I hope I didn't take too much time, but uh, no, no, there's no. a lot of why, stuff. Why Democrats? Why, why is that who you're focusing on? Just because you're trying to because we want, gather support? Because if all Democrats voted, there's no way in heck Trump wins. Mm. If all Democrats voted, there's, we would flip the Senate. So we got to focus on, on our Dems. There you go. Okay. Hi. Sorry, my video froze. Um, I, I just, and, and apologies if I'm cutting anyone off. Uh, it can be hard to know just with the internet. But, you know, when you take a scary, I remember the first time I door knocked in 2016, at, you know, for Hillary, and it felt like, oh God, this is so, so crazy, such a big deal. And then once you do it once, you're like, you, you get kind of hooked because you can see that you can actually reach people. And, you know, phone banks, they can be a little nerve wracking, um, but I just want to give a shout out to, you know, Rudy uh, with the, the Democratic Party tool that they're using. It's amazing. It's so easy. You, you don't use your actual cell phone with your actual yeah, cell phone yeah, number. Yeah. You use uh, the computer and it just dials automatically. It gets out even, it screens out most of the uh, voicemails or bad numbers. So you just get connected directly to a person. Um, and, you know, a lot of people uh, are, you know, are actually really polite. They're interested, um, especially I've had really uh, a good time with Spanish uh, phone banks, uh, so the Argentina. And um, I really, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there who uh, aren't okay, you know, don't think what's going on is okay, but maybe need some information to be connected to, you know, maybe the Senate's not at the top of their mind, for example. Um, and uh, we, can, we can play a part in that uh, safely. Um, by phone banking, so really encourage anyone to join. Very cool. Thank you. Are we sitting? Yeah. So I guess like we just want to take this opportunity to remind everyone that uh, our donation channel again, right? Our our act uh, blue page is sending money directly to uh, Marquita Bradshaw. Mark, no, that's sorry, that was a couple of weeks ago. No, we're sending it to um, John Ossif and to Hickenbacker in, in Georgia and Colorado. Thank you, John. Hick and Looper. Hick and Looper. Hick and Looper. There it is. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those funny things when you're trying to represent other people and like you hear it and then, but sorry. Yeah. So John Hick and Looper from Colorado. And um, remember that's actblue.com slash donate slash radio 1103. And we're putting that in the chat um, as well. And just, just to give it an idea of like all the different ways that, that we can be active. Right. I think in this moment in particular, really just that call to action, reminding everyone that yes, things kind of, there is this, looming feeling and, and especially with all the other things that are going on in 2020 being what it is but just know that you know every little bit that you do every every choice that you make to act has an impact and just kind of there whatever that way is that makes sense to you in this moment just know that you can you can be active in in, in this change that we're trying to enact in our country um so want to kind of talk a little bit about colorado right um and and just what's happening there and, and what we have coming up so Wanted to introduce John Hickenlooper, uh, and you know he's a former geologist. So again, but dipping into those sciences, which is kind of exciting. He was the mayor of Denver and kind of governor of Colorado for a minute, um, and he also opened a brew pub, which I haven't tried his fares, but now I'm kind of curious. Maybe get some of that sent to me one of these days. Um, but his administration created the first methane captured regulations for oil and gas companies um, in the entire country, which is really cool. Um, and kind of in true Coloradian fashion, has a passion for like the outdoors and, and it reflects in his policies in terms of like, you know, this uh, wanting to get rid of a backlog in national park maintenance. He wants to expand the mapping and conservation of wildlife corridors. Um, and he's definitely kind of a big person that's trying to ban the, the concept of lobbying and for Congress people. So we were just very excited by his platform and, and kind of wanted to share that with you all today. Um, and so next up, we'll have uh, another musical performance. So now switching over to Colorado, uh, artists with ties to Colorado. Um, and our first one of those will be Eamon Fogarty. Um, so we'll uh, have him come in from the backstage green room. Uh, and I, uh, while doing that, looks like people have been responding and donating to the Act Blue page, which is really exciting. We've got $185 on our way to our $500 goal. So. Um, 
uh, if you've got a little bit to spare, uh, actblue.com slash donate slash radio 1103. Um, it's really exciting. You know, it's a way to like kind of support what the artists are doing here today. Um, you know, they're giving up their time uh, for this cause uh, to help get um, more uh, support behind these candidates and, and more uh, education on uh, stuff on the ballot. So uh, and now we're, it looks like we're getting Eamon on the stream with us. Eamon, welcome. 